Natasha Smilovich started working on Site C as a structural field engineer back in 2017 and since then has progressively worked her way up. I am a structural superintendent on site. We manage all the iron workers and welders for all the steel assembly and we also manage all the cranes and doom booms and the operators on site for just site-wide help. As a structural superintendent, her crew was responsible for assembling two pieces of machinery with parts being brought in from Italy. Our crew of iron workers and welders, equipment operators, got a task at the beginning of this year to assemble this tunnel formwork. And this is also one of the cool parts that I see is we've never done this before and they gave us an opportunity to do it. Both machines were built and last week they started the lining process on Tunnel 1. The purpose of this tunnel lining formwork is to encase the, con or the tunnel with CIPC concrete. So the concrete goes in, goes in the distributor and exposes through the hatches. So it can pour 12 meters at a time, it cures and then it walks itself forward and throughout the entire duration of the tunnel. The crew was given the drawings at the beginning of the year where they were analyzed and built for a reason in mind. It's important for just the safety of the workers and eliminates having people in the line of fire if required and also the efficiency of it is pretty impeccable. The lining process of the work is the last step in the construction of the diversion tunnels prior to river diversion, which is scheduled for September of 2020. Sarita Patel, CJDC-TV News, Fort St. John.